Hey, Gopher fans, it's another edition of Gopher Talk. I'm Mike Grimm, and we're glad to have you along here as we're going to talk some Gopher hockey. Our Gopher Talk is presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, a locally member-owned, full-service financial invested in you. You can learn more at affinityplus.org. Brock Faber joins us. He's with the Golden Gopher Hockey Program. And first of all, good to see you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate well, it. Like- some exciting times, certainly for you and 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 one go for hockey in general. But you and two of your teammates, uh, Ben Myers and Matthew Nyes, are going to be on the Olympic team. Former go for Aaron Ness also will be on the U.S. Olympic team. And I want to ask you about the process and how it all unfolded. But first, the the first question right out of the shoot: How do you feel about this? I mean, how exciting is this for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a you know, it's a dream come true. Uh, it's something yeah. Uh, ever since I started playing hockey, obviously it's, you know, throwing on that USA jersey is pretty special. And I've been, you know, fortunate enough to uh, to have done that a few times, but, you know, not not on a stage like this, that's for sure. You know, playing in the Olympics is, um, you know, it, it's 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 hard to, uh, you know, put into words how it makes me feel. Obviously, a um, little unfortunate, you know, obviously it, it's tough to leave the guys in such an important time during the season. But um, like I said, it's, you know, representing this country is uh, something super special to me and um, some I'll, you know, obviously cherish, you know, for the rest of my life. So, yeah, I know earlier in the uh, in the week and last week, uh, your head coach, Bob Motzko, talked about, you know, he wasn't going to hold anybody back because it is such, uh, you know, in, especially in the hockey world. Right. The Olympics are, are pretty meaningful. So if you get the yeah. chance, he was, he was going to let you guys do that. Um, and how cool is it too, to to be able to take, uh, you know, a couple of your teammates with you as part of Team USA? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, uh, obviously those two two guys really deserve it. Hey, they're they're pretty fun to watch. Obviously, as you know, you know those two are they're special. Um, and you know they're gonna they're gonna bring that you know to a um, to the to the world stage and you know show show that off at the Olympics. But um, you know having guys having guys that I've obviously played with a lot now and uh, became really close with is obviously uh, makes you know travel a lot easier. You know, going to China things like that. Um, so it'll be fun. Definitely, definitely special for all three of us. So. So the Olympics, of course, initially were designed to have NHL players uh, in it, and then that got kind of sidetracked, and all of a sudden word started to trickle out, and uh, there were some you know rumblings uh, before all this process unfolded that, hey, it might be some college guys, some minor league guys, and they're starting to talk. And at what point for you did it become like, hey, this, this might be happening and kind of take us through the processes? Uh, you know, I'm sure it wasn't just like, hey, one phone call, or do you want to do it? I'm sure there was some feeling out process and all of that stuff. What was that like? Well, yeah. So I was at, you know, world juniors um, and it was obviously it was, you know, you had heard, you know, on Twitter, everything about how NHL guys aren't going. And um, obviously it was in the back of my head, but I was more focused on, you know, world juniors, obviously. Um, and then when that got canceled, um, uh, John Van Beesbrook, he he came up to me and uh, Jake Sanderson, Maddie Veneers brought us aside and, um, you know, asked obviously how we feel about the Olympics, things like that. And, um, in the end asked us to go and it was kind of, um, you know, it was, it was shocking, you know, you know, you didn't really, uh, lots, lots of emotions and, um, a pretty, you know, quick time period with the tournament getting canceled and then getting asked to go to the Olympics. So, um, obviously first thing I did was went up, went upstairs and called my parents and told them and, um, it was special, definitely a very special moment. So. Yeah. And obviously we mentioned the Olympics are, you know, within hockey, especially the Olympics are, you know, the world stage of sports and with hockey, uh, you're clearly too young to know about the miracle on ice team in terms of seeing it personally. I'm old enough to remember watching yeah. that unfold, uh, but I'm sure you've seen the movie and maybe even talked oh, to yeah. some former Gophers who, you know, were, were part of that miracle team. I mean, when you think about a kid like you from Minnesota, take me through that emotion of, of knowing, you know, kind of the Gopher history and, uh, and all of, uh, all of the Minnesota connections at the Olympics hockey team has had over the years yeah I mean you, you see all the gopher guys on that team obviously uh you know leading the way was her Brooks obviously and he's you know uh, we come here every day and there's you know her Brooks picture just about everywhere in the ranks so um you know obviously it, it's special obviously watching watching the movie Miracle on Ice that was always always the go-to probably seen that over 50 times always just playing in the minivan um you know it's uh, it's, you know, something that, you know, when, when you're in the, when you, when you're a kid watching that movie, you know, you, you obviously dream about doing that, but you know, you, you never know how real it is, um, obviously until you get asked to go. And then it's, you know, all those kind of emotions just start, um, you know, rushing up and it's, um, like I said, hard to put into words, how special this is, how special this is for uh, all three of us, every guy that got asked. Um, so it, we're really looking forward to it for sure. 
So you mentioned you were part of the world juniors and then that got, you know, the trap door kind of fell out on, on that thing. And, and now it's moved on to the Olympics. So based on that experience and, you know, you, you're kind of familiar with the international stage, what, what as a team for team USA, what's kind of the goal now is you can get a handle on, on prospects for, for what lies ahead. Yeah. You know, obviously it's, uh, we're gonna, we, we've had a, we've had a zoom call. Um, we have a few set up and, um, you know, as a team, we, we got a fast skill team and, um, we're, we're in your face type team. That's, that's how we're going to have to play, uh, to be successful at this tournament. Obviously it's, um, you know, it's going to be tough. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of adversity with, you know, COVID and, you know, getting there, travel, things like that. But, um, you know, obviously that all flies out the window, you know, when that first puck drops. So, um, yeah, like I said, lots of skill on this team. There's, there's a lot of amazing players on this team, you know, good, good mix of veterans and young guys. Um, and it, it should be fun. Uh, we're going to be a fast skill team. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. Like I said, so. You mentioned, you know, with the, uh, obviously the, the COVID situation, I'm sure, you know, that that is a situation that everyone will be monitoring. And now I know this week they announced that, uh, that there won't be general fans. Have you heard what it may or may not be? I mean, if your family wanted to go, friends wanted to go, uh, what, what's the situation for you guys there? Uh, it's, I don't, I don't think family's going, uh, I think they have kind of a separate thing for, for family, but, um, yeah, everything's kind of up in the air. It's, you know, it's obviously pretty quick with everything, just, you know, NHL not going things like that, trying to find a team. There's, um, there's obviously been a lot of information, you know, coming in the past two weeks and then, you know, the next two weeks is going to be the same. So, um, like I said, it's, it's all kind of up in the air right now and we're just, uh, we're focused on the golfers right now, but you know, when that time comes, it's, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to be locked in. So. Well, you've been, you know, a star hockey player for years on the international stage as well with the juniors and stuff before that, how many different places has hockey taken you now? And I'm guessing it's a first for you going to China. Have you, you haven't been to China to play hockey yet? Have you? I have never been to China. No, I've, I've, I've been to Europe a couple of times uh, with NTP uh, obviously been in Canada with the world juniors, um, a bunch of different States. I'd say basically every state, um, you know, I, I'm pretty fortunate to be able to, uh, travel the world playing this, the game that I love. So, um, yeah, I never been to China though. So this will be a first for, for a lot of guys. It's not everyone. So. Yeah, I would think so. Well, I want to ask you too, you, you mentioned that your current focus is you and the Gophers and um, you guys have a huge series coming up this weekend in the big 10 when uh, really the two preseason favorites, Minnesota and Michigan, two of the blue bloods of hockey. Uh, it's a home set for you guys and, and huge, right? Take me through yeah. your thoughts on, uh, on this weekend. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Obviously they're, they're a really good hockey team. Um, you know, but we're confident in what we have in this locker room. Obviously it's, um, you know, the season hasn't gotten necessarily the, the way we wanted, but, you know, we're just moving forward. You know, we're, we're growing, we're learning, uh, we're chemistry starting to form as a team. Um, you know, we're excited. You know, this is, this is obviously one that's circled on the calendar and, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be ready to go come, you know, Friday night. So what do you see from the Wolverines? What will be a key for the Gophers in uh, this weekend? Yeah, it's just, obviously they have, you know, as everyone knows, they got a lot of high draft picks. They got a lot of skill on their team, but, um, you know, we can, we can beat them with, you know, our, our, our hard work with our feet, with our speed. Um, obviously we, uh, skill game going back and forth, it's going to be tough, especially on the big ice. But, um, if we play our game, hard nose, gritty, uh, get pucks behind their D don't overhandle pucks. Um, you know, we, we, we like, uh, you know, what we got, and like I said, in that locker room and, uh, we're confident going into it. So. How big can it be if there's a nice crowd of people wearing maroon and gold at 3M Arena at Mariucci this weekend too? I mean, that's huge. Obviously, it's, um, you know, the, having, a, having the crowd here, obviously, it's something that every kid in this locker room, you know, dreamed of, you know, playing on Mariucci with, uh, with a big crowd, big student section. Um, you know, it's, it, I, I have a feeling it's going to be rocking and uh, we're excited. We're definitely looking forward to it, so. Well, good luck this weekend. Good luck as well here in a few weeks when you head to China. Hope, uh, you know, hopefully it'd be great to medal, bring back a gold medal and uh, join sure. that uh, that historic uh, group of uh, golfers who have done that in the past. And then, uh, man, you get back, there'll be no rest. It's, uh, you know, Big Ten tournament time, hopefully NCAA tournament time. Could be a big yeah. year for, uh, for you and your teammates. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're excited. We're excited. It's going to be fun. All right. Very good. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much.
All right, he's Golden Gopher Brock Faber from Maple Grove. This has been Gopher Talk presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. So long, Gopher fans.